All right, now in this video, let's quickly sum up the major features on One UI 5.0. I have already posted detailed videos on almost all the new features we have got. So if you're interested in those videos, you can check out the channel. And while you do that, be sure to subscribe as well. Now, the first feature is this brand new lock screen customization. We can directly press and hold on the lock screen to open this customization option. We can choose variety of wallpapers. We can select the clock from variety of options. We can customize the size and color. And right from here, the bottom shortcuts can be customized. We can set any application you want by just tapping on these icons here. Next feature is the enhanced color palette customization. When you press and hold on the home screen and tap on wallpaper and style, you can see we have got color palette option here. When we tap on this, we have a toggle to turn on or off the color palette. Below that, we have got wallpaper colors as well as basic colors now. We get about eight options in wallpaper colors depending on the wallpaper you set. And the basic colors will be basically the solid colors or a combination of two solid colors. Then we have got apply palettes to the app icons as well. Not all the apps are getting the color palette here. That's a bummer. I really hope to see third party support for this color palette option. Next, the Bixby routines. I'm sorry, it's no more Bixby routines. Now it's modes and routines. All you need to do is tap on settings. You will see an all new menu option here, modes and routines. I tap on this. As you can see, we have got two menus here. We have got modes and we have got routines. Under modes, you will see sleep, driving, exercise, relax, work, or you can also add your own mode. Under routine section, we can create by tapping on this plus button as usual like we used to do before. Basically, the Bixby routines are more streamlined and now they are called modes and routines. We can now check running routines quickly as it shows up on the top when a routine is running. We now have more actions and conditions for routines. Next feature is extracting text from images. As you can see, when you open an image containing the text, you will see this new icon here at the bottom right corner, the text icon in yellow. You can just tap on this. The AI is going to recognize the text and you will be able to copy it and paste it anywhere you want. That is fantastic. The next one is stacked widgets. If you are someone who would love to keep your home screen clutter free, then you can add multiple widgets on a single widget and swipe to see those widgets right on one widget. Just press and hold on the widget, tap on create stack, you will be able to add more widgets here. Samsung has also added a brand new widget called smart suggestions. Apps and actions will be suggested based on how you use your phone. If you set this widget, it will be very easy to access your recently used applications and actions. Next one is setting the call backgrounds for individual contacts. All you need to do is open a contact, tap on edit and tap on view more. Now here at the bottom, you will see an option called background. You can tap on this to select any background you want. Okay, moving on to the next one. Whenever you install a new app, you will be asked whether you want to receive the notifications from that app or not as soon as you install it. Earlier, we had to go to the notification settings to turn off or on the notifications for a new app downloaded on the phone. Next one is set language for each applications. Yes, now we can set languages for individual applications. It will be useful if you want to use some applications in different languages other than the default language you have set on the phone. Next one is getting suggestions based on text in images. Now you can also get suggestions based on the text in the images. If you have an image with a phone number or a web address on it, you can just tap on this text mode and tap on that particular contact number or web address to execute the action. Now moving on, we have got an all new connected devices option on the settings. When you tap on this, you will see all the connected devices and other features related to connections right here in one place. We've got quick share, link to windows, Samsung Dex, smart view, etc. all are placed in one particular menu. The next important feature is improved multitasking on the One UI 5.0. While you have opened a particular application, you can just swipe up from the bottom using your two fingers to open the split screen view and you can open any applications. You can also swipe down from the top right corner to shrink a particular application into a pop-up window. This is a fantastic multitasking feature we have got on One UI 5.0. Next improved feature is Samsung Dex. Samsung Dex has been enhanced with a search button to search applications on the taskbar. We have got a new notification indicator as well as a mini calendar. I have made a dedicated video on this particular feature as well. If you're interested, I will leave a link in the description. 
The next improvement is in My Files application. My Files app gets more powerful search now. You can either search a file by its name or you can key in the contents such as location info in images or text in documents, thereby making it easier to search anything inside the files application. Next enhancement is in the digital well-being application. This has been redesigned to make it easier to access the features you need. Coming to the camera section, a help icon will appear in pro and pro video modes. Tap on the icon to get tips and guidance for using the various lenses, options and controls here. Samsung has also added watermarks to pictures feature. All you can do is go to settings in the camera and turn this feature on to see the watermarks on every image you click. You can also customize the appearance of the watermark with fonts and its position right on the settings. Now we can answer calls, alarms and timers without saying hi Bixby. Whenever you get an incoming call or an alarm or timer rings, you can get help from Bixby without saying hi Bixby. You can just say answer the phone or turn off the alarm. Now this feature has not been available on all the Samsung devices. So now with One UI 5.0, this should reach all the eligible phones. The next one is the all new security dashboard in settings which shows whether your phone has any security issues and helps you fix them quickly. We've got an all new notification layout on the notification settings. Basically, the menu options have changed. Coming to RAM Plus, now we have an option to turn off the RAM Plus feature if you don't really need it. Then on the edge panel, now it shows the application names as well. To enable this, all you can do is open the edge panel, tap on this three dot button on the top right corner. Here you will see this toggle show app names. You can just turn this on to see the application titles right below the app on the edge panel. Next one is the brand new incoming call notification. Now when we get an incoming call, this is how it looks. We can see the profile image of that particular contact on the right side. You also have this brand new receive and disconnect icons here. The previous version was different. The next one is system app icons. Now most of the system app icons have been redesigned. They look much better in my opinion, but this is subjective. You guys let me know what do you think about the new app icons. Next one is a brand new feature called maintenance mode. Now whenever you are sending the phone for repair to the service centers, you can turn on this maintenance mode which protects your privacy while the service center is using your phone. Basically it creates a new user account which does not allow any access to your primary account. So the other person who is using your phone will not have access to any of your personal files on the device. To access this, you need to go to settings, tap on battery and device care. You will see this option right at the bottom. These are the features which we have got on One UI 5.0. We also got multiple users account feature, but Samsung has removed this feature for some reason. I hope to see this feature coming back to One UI if not now, at least in One UI 5.1 or One UI 6.0. Let me know if I missed out on any of the features. You can drop it in the comment section below. And when you do that, be sure to subscribe to the channel. There are tons of contents on One UI, iOS and stock Android. Do check out the channel and let me know what you think about this video in the comment section. Hit the like button if you find this informational. Thanks for watching. You guys take care and stay safe. My name is Salian signing off. Cheers. Bye-bye.